So one of the most common questions that I get, like almost on a daily basis from people, is asking what kind of theme they should use. Should they go with the paid theme? Should they go with the free theme? What has the best conversions? All that kind of stuff. So we're debunking that in today's video. Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with the brand new video. And today it's gonna be a short and sweet video because I don't wanna waste your guys' time, but I wanna show you what is actually possible with free themes and kind of the myth that a lot of people sort of believe. So what I've found is that a lot of people um, think that they need to have like some sort of premium crazy kind of theme uh, and make their store look outstanding and it has to look like top notch in order to make sales and that's simply not the case. You can actually use the free themes and make at least, I would say at least, at the very least $10,000 a month. But I'm gonna show you a store right now so uh, let's jump into my computer. Um, I actually used this in an example a few videos ago um, it's called Alexia & Co. If you haven't seen the video, you should go check it out. It's uh, about three stores doing six figures at least per week. Um, so anyways, but uh, I'm going to just use Commerce Inspector, which is just this Chrome uh, plugin that you can look at the, the stats for the website. But as you can see, $250,000 in revenue just last week. Guys, and look what theme it is. It's the Brooklyn theme. If you guys have signed up for Shopify at all, if you've ever built a store, which if you haven't, I do have the link to the free Shopify trial below that you can get signed up. But if you've been uh, you know, involved in Shopify at all, you'll know that Brooklyn theme is a free theme. It's, it's not a paid theme, it's not anything crazy. So when you look over here, it's not like this website is like stellar design. It's nice, it's fine, it works obviously for 250,000, um, but it's not like crazy design um, or anything. So. What they did, or there's basically three things, in my opinion, that you should be focusing on when it comes to building your store. Design, obviously you want it to look good, but number one is you need to have excellent products. You need to have products that are proven to sell, that people are buying, that are hot, that are trending, all that kind of stuff. So, um, for example, this one I know for a fact, uh, I don't know about anymore, but I know at one point it was trending like crazy, like they were selling all over, like they were selling out, it was insane. Um, I'm not sure about it anymore, you'd have to, you'd have to go look. Um, but yeah, so this is a product that was selling hot, okay? Then, once you have the product that's selling hot, it's all about finding the marketing, okay? So who is somebody that would buy this? Um, probably women um, that are looking to get some sort of breast augmentation. Maybe um, they're not satisfied with uh, their looks, wh whatever it might be, that's your target market. So then you go and find pages that are similar to that. So that might be um, like girl meme pages, girls fashion pages, stuff like that on Instagram that you could go and then market to. Or if you want to do the Facebook route, you know, go and, and target maybe certain, maybe even breast augmentation uh, surgery places or whatever. I don't know. Um, you'd have to look more into the targeting, but that's essentially what you do. So great product right here. Okay. Number two, you got to have great marketing. And number three, you have to have great sales tactics. Okay. So let's just click on, on this picture just real quick. Um, okay. So I talked about this before, but um, it, when it comes to great sales tactics, what do you need in your description? You need to set up a problem. Then you need to offer the solution, uh, your product as a solution. Okay. So let's see what they do here. They say, um, need an instant breast lift? No need for surgery. All you need is one of these exclusive to Alexi and Co. So, do you need a breast lift? Um, and people that do need that are typically looking into surgeries, into augmentations, which takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money, and you know, obviously, you have to go into surgery, which kind of, which kind of sucks. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the problem with it. But this product is offering a solution, and they're uh, you know speaking right to the customer through this messaging. So the point being in this video, I know it's short, I know it's sweet, but the point is it's not about the theme, it's not about um, any sort of crazy design for your website. I know a lot of people spend maybe like two, three weeks trying to design your website, put products in. That's not necessary, guys. You need like five to 10 products to start. Make sure you have solid product descriptions, a solid, like decent looking design. Literally just use the free themes and you guys will be good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little short tip of a video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the like if you like this video and want to get more of the videos, which you should actually probably hit the, uh, not subscribe, but the notification bell as well, because then you'll be notified as soon as I drop the next video. So you're definitely gonna be wanted, definitely gonna wanna be notified. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you all tomorrow.